We've got one more interview left in this very busy week here at the Novacare Complex. Hello, everyone. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, along with cornerback Jalen Mills, a conversation presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. And Jalen, it's Friday. Yep. Long week here. What's the week been like for you? Um, it's it's been uh, it's been you get that little that that anxious feeling. You know what I mean? Each and every day, you know, you're, you're getting that much closer to you know one of the goals that you set, you know, way back in April. So I think right now. Um, it's, it's, it's a little nerve wracking because you want it, you want it to come, but also you have to, uh, like we say here in Philly, you got to trust the process. How did, <laughs> how did you deal with the nerves last week? First playoff game? Um, I mean, kind of just surrounded myself around a lot of vets and, and kind of, you know, picked up brains about, you know, going into the game, you know, how did they handle it their first time and how did they handle it the times after that. And, um, I mean, of course, you know, of course he's in my group, a guy that I always circle around is Malcolm Jenkins. And him just telling me, you know, um, I don't have to do nothing different that I've been doing all year um, and, and just focus on a little bit of things. What is the biggest football game that you have ever played in your life, high school, college, NFL? Um, had to be last week. Okay. You know what I mean, uh, that that game right there versus the Falcons. Yeah, it was definitely. Um, no championship games in high school, nothing like that. No. Really. Been playing championship. Okay. So, wow. Yeah. So so last week's it. So this week gets a little bit bigger, more fun. The stadium rocks. It's yeah. a wonderful environment. Yeah. How have you have you been out at all in the city of Philadelphia this week to see the fans? No, I haven't. Yeah. No, I haven't. I kind of intentionally. Just, uh, yeah. Kind of just trying to stay in that zone, you know what I mean? Uh, don't want to get too much praise too fast, you know what I mean? Because, um, I mean, you can't get caught up in it. Um, but at the same time, you know, like I said, trying to stay in my zone, stay focused. Let's talk about the Minnesota Vikings. Good offense, good passing game, a lot of varied weapons with sure. Thielen and Diggs and Treadwell and all the guys. It, it, receiver crew, you, you never have a, a down week in the NFL. What makes this group so good? Um, I mean, they're, they're guys who... I mean, they, they've kind of emerged out of nowhere, um, and at the same time, they are, they've been consistent, you know what I mean, week in, week out. And I think the biggest thing that you see from those guys is they're making, you know, those tough, contested catches, you know what I mean? I think that's the, the biggest trait of, of that receiving group, for sure. How about the quarterback? It's interesting, you know, Thielen wasn't drafted, Keenum has been bouncing around, you're a seventh round draft pick. Yeah. Makes you think, ah, the NFL draft, what's it worth? But yeah. all you have to do is get a chance. And, and certainly, Case Keenum has made the most of his chance. Third string quarterback, you yeah. know what I mean? And then, like, like you just said, he, he got his opportunity and he made the most of it and he's making the most of it. And uh, I think for sure one of the biggest things that you see from him is uh, he's, not, he's not shy back there. He's not nervous. Um, he's taking control of that offense. Um, he doesn't look like a third string quarterback. He looks like a starting quarterback. Jalen, is this defense at its peak right now? Do you think it's playing its best football of the season? Um, I think we're we're getting better and better. You know what I mean? I think uh, we don't we don't want to we don't want to peek out, um, but for sure. Have you at all allowed yourself to think about Sunday yet, or are you really living in the moment? Yeah, living in the moment. Coach always says, you know, don't don't play the game too fast in your head early in the week. You know what I mean? You got to go go through those little bitty things, and like I said, you got to go through the process. So what happens for fans who don't know? What happens between now and Sunday game time? What, what literally? What do you do? Um, now, you know, we usually, you know, watch the film from the previous game uh, two days after. Uh, we have our first down on Tuesdays, uh, third downs on Wednesdays, and then kind of go through our, our, our red zone, you know, Thursday and Fridays. Um, and then Saturday, you know, it's kind of a straight mental. You know, you're watching film, you're going over the little bit of errors that you may have had in practice or uh, just trying to get one, one more thing up on the offense. And then, you know, um, Sunday's here in this game time. And so you're watching the same film that you've been watching all week? All, all year from their first game to their last game and, and like you said, all week. Are you good at watching film? Definitely. Have you always been good at watching film? I wasn't. I didn't get good at watching film to last year's offseason. And how do you get good at watching film? Um, like I said, surrounding myself by vets, uh. you know what I mean? See, see how those guys think, you know, what they're looking at. I mean, they've seen it a million times over more than I have. Uh, so for sure, you know, asking those guys what they're looking at, what they see and how they study. All right, that's it. Jalen Mills in studio. Good luck on Sunday night. Thank you. Bring it home. Yeah. Jalen Mills in studio presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. Thanks for joining us.